Bada boom. Oh, hey kids, it's Teacher J. Where in the world is Teacher J today? I'm gonna give you some facts. I'll also provide clues. You boys and girls have to decide where in the world I am. Now I'm standing in front of a sculpture right now that's known as the bean. For its very obvious shape, it was designed by an amazing sculptor by the name of Anish Kapoor and unveiled as part of a grand opening ceremony for Millennium Park in the year 2004. Now this bean is 33 feet high, 42 feet wide, and 66 feet long. It weighs 110 tons. That's about the same as 15 adult-sized elephants. Now, because St. Patrick's Day is such a big deal in this city, they actually dye the entire river green for St. Patrick's Day. That would take a lot of food coloring, I think. Some of you are familiar with Walt Disney, who was actually born here. The transportation system in this city is known as the L because it's elevated. As a matter of fact, it's what I'm standing in front of right now. And there's 15 sports teams that play here. They have the Cubs, they have the Bears, they have the Bulls. They really like their sports in this town. And a lot of cool stuff was invented here. Like back in 1851, the zipper was invented here. In 1868, the vacuum cleaner was invented here. One of my favorites back in 1930 was the Twinkie that was invented here. And speaking of treats, this city is world famous for their deep dish pizza. However, there's a little bit of controversy around who first invented it. They were two brothers back in the 1940s, Rick Ricardo and Ike Sewell who claimed to have been the first ones to originate the deep dish pizza. They started a restaurant called Pizzeria Uno. However, one of the employees from Pizzeria Uno started another pizza shop, and that was from the Malnati family. The Malnati family had a son who started yet another pizza place. Well, you know, I don't know who the first people were that started the deep dish pizza here, but let me tell you, if you've never had deep dish pizza from this town, you better come try it out because it's really good. The most popular tourist attraction in this entire city is a place called Navy Pier. Let me tell you about some exciting attractions that you can see and do at the Navy Pier. There's a fun house maze that you can go through. They play lots of concerts here at the Navy Pier. There's a Ferris wheel that's 193 feet tall. And you can ride the Ferris wheel for three revolutions, takes about 12 minutes, but you have an amazing view of the city skyline. Let me tell you something else about the Ferris wheel. It was built to withstand strong winds of up to 115 miles per hour, which is necessary because they call this place the Windy City, which reminds me of a great verse about wind in the Bible. Matthew chapter seven, verses 24 and 25. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who built his house on the rock and the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. Well, boys and girls, that's all the time we have today. Tune in again next week to find out where in the world is Teacher Jay.